The Brienz Rothorn Railway is the only Swiss cogwheel railway with daily steam operation and has been running enthusiastically since 1892. The nostalgic railway is located in the picturesque village of Brienz on Lake Brienz in the Bernays Oberland. The first part of the route passes through part of Brienz. Already here you notice that you can count on good views. Soon we leave Brienz and climb altitude meter by altitude meter. On the one hand, the nostalgic steam locomotives, which have been in operation since 1891, run on the line. And then there are the diesel locomotives, some of which have been in operation since 1975. We steam past the Geldriet crossing station. Here we have a great view of Lake Brienz. But we want to continue upwards and after about 30 minutes we reach the Planalp middle station. Here we cross other trains that bring guests from the Brienz Roton back down to Brienz. The water for the locomotive is filled up and then we continue with the second part of the mountain route up to Brienz Roton. The landscape changes and we increasingly see cows grazing on the alpine meadows. Until around mid-September the cows are allowed to stay here and enjoy a great life until they return to the lowlands. Soon Lake Brienz reappears behind the hills. In certain weather and light conditions it has a fabulous color. After an hour we reach the Brienz Roton at 2350 meters above sea level. The Berghaus Roton Kulm is located on the Brienz Roton. The cozy rooms all have hot and cold water, showers and toilets on each floor. My room today has a view of Lake Brienz and the Swiss flag. And then the search for the Ibexes soon begins. They are not always to be seen. And lo and behold, a couple of male Ibexes made themselves comfortable on this rock formation. More Ibexes were grazing peacefully a few meters away from me. From the rings on their horns, you can tell approximately how old the ibex is. The more rings, the older the ibex. By the way, ibexes belong to the goat species. They can live up to 15 to 20 years and weigh between 80 and 125 kilograms. The horns, by the way, weighed between two and a half and three and a half kilograms. The ibexes we see here are all males. In summer, the males live separately from the females and their young. In autumn, they all come together again and stay together during winter. The tallest males are then allowed to choose their queen in winter. The fights about the hierarchy often take place during the year so that there is enough energy left for the rutting season. Artificial salt stones are often laid in the Alps. These are loved by the ibexes and provide them with additional minerals and trace elements. Here too the rule is the higher ranking has priority. The next morning I saw two more beautiful ibexes behind the hotel. At first they were grazing peacefully together.
Meanwhile, the sun appeared as a big red ball on the horizon. After a while, the ibexes had enough of the grass. They head for the rock formation. After a short pause for thought, there is time for some morning sport. Playful fights also are part of it. After all, practice makes perfect. Soon the two disappear behind the rock and it's off to breakfast. A cool wind was blowing and so I ate my breakfast inside for this time. Soon I heard the first train going up to the Brienzerotun. It is time to say goodbye. It's back down into the heat, from 15 degrees to 37 degrees. I enjoyed the train ride, let nature pass me by. Also, the cows are already up and were grazing the delicious alpine meadows. I can only recommend excursions like this to everyone. And please take your time for nature and also for the animals. Enjoy these moments up here before you go back to the hustle and bustle of civilization.